Hi there, it's Steve here again in uh, the not so sunny, very rainy and wet uh, East Riding of Yorkshire on the Wolds at Wold Guitars. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I build these things, cigar box guitars and a few other stringed instruments like lap steel guitars um, and stick dulcimers and things like that. Um, purely as a hobby. Uh, any money I receive for them just basically goes back to replace the materials I've used uh, and also to put a little bit of a fund to one side for tools um, and things. But this is my latest build. Um, this is a looks like, and I emphasize the word looks like, cigar box, um, license plate cigar box guitar. Um, it's not a real license plate, this is just a digital image that I've put on the top of this old uh, Vega Fina box. Um, everything's great about the box with the exception of the top. So I stripped the top off and applied this uh, digital image of a, um, it's a royalty free one incidentally that I found on the internet, of a license plate. So it looks like a license plate, but it ain't. So buyer beware. Right, um, we've got a mahogany through the body neck with a maple fretboard. Um, it's got uh, screw markers and inlaid dot side markers. Um, the piece of wood there is not a nut, um, it's just a string guide, is a, another piece of maple. It's got closed chrome tuners. It has a single coil pickup, chrome again, and an adjustable bridge. So uh, intonations, no problem on this one. Um, everything else is chrome, jack input, and I've put a couple of strap buttons on there, and a chrome top. Now, one thing I would say again, this is buyer beware, um, it has no sound holes, this one. I built it really as an electric. I'm not an electric player. I mainly play six string uh, acoustic. However, uh, that's what I've made it as. Um, if the buyer wants to, I'll happily put a couple of uh, sound holes either in the top or one in the top, one in the bottom, um, and put a chrome grill plate over the top so as to make it look good. Um, which will give it a bit more volume, but it, it's it's certainly not a problem. But it's not as loud as uh, many cigar box guitars I've built. It has um, a pretty good, uh, obviously being an adjustable bridge makes life easy, got a good action, about one mil at the first fret and at the twelfth fret which is there it's pretty much on two mil uh, so really lovely and easy to play. Uh, I do spend quite a bit of time um, on the necks because obviously on a guitar like this the neck is the all important thing um, so all the edges are, of the frets are ground down nicely I level the frets, I use a, a fret rocker to make sure there's no highs and lows um, and then file down any uh, high frets and round and polish them so it plays very nicely. Right, that's unplugged. Uh, let's give you, I'm not really a player of these things. I know it sounds silly. I make them, I really enjoy building them, but um, I uh, rarely get the opportunity to practice much on them. So I tend to plug out the same sort of stuff. So this, just to, so you can see, is at the moment going through my little Roland Microcube amp. Um, all the settings there are on 12 o'clock basically 
uh, no effects at the moment. Um, and plenty of volume, plenty of volume. show you it's uh, good for slide as well there's nothing like preparation is there and that's absolutely nothing like preparation I'll do this finger style I think right I shall put it on um, possibly classic stack with a little bit of delay there <laughs> Yeah, up to turn down. It's Sunday morning, and I think the neighbours might be. Um license plate cigar box guitar it's uh, oh that's me necks fixed with a couple of screws by the way so um, should you ever need or want to make some adjustments uh, it's not glued in so it's all perfectly uh, accessible should we call it but nice guitar um, not a lot of money and um, I'm sure you'll be pleased with it so if you want to know any more information whatsoever oh, that's my <coughs> telephone number and email address so uh, anyway happy bidding and thanks for watching <laughs>